Oh man, we're here, dude. We're, we're in already, the motherfucking we're building. We're already talking shop. We're already talking shop. I just wiped my fucking ass. Dude. Matt wiped his butt to start the cast. Shit, two hours ago, wiped my ass. That's good. Now. Yeah. Wait, you, you wiped your ass then, also, obviously. I did, but it was like didn't get it, done. it was a public dump, so I was like, I, that you know. happens. You rushed it. Yeah, it, it wasn't. <laughs> I took like actually, it was like I had been holding it in all day long, so it was like you know when you you like, I was writing a paper about like. Well, it's like a whole thing, but I was talking about, uh, like, the sexual urges, basically. Yeah. And, like, how, like, I was like, damn, it's so weird we have, like, these hormones that just, like, our, are, like, just, like, our wiener region fills up with, like, a hormone feeling. We're like, mm, we just, like, yeah. meet someone. You're like, oh, I want to fuck this out of you. You know, we get these bad feelings. Well, not that bad, but we get these, <laughs> we're driven by hormones. So I'm thinking about that. And then I had a poop so bad, my, my fucking butt zone was pulsing with the poop feeling. I was like, oh, my God, dude. Yeah. It was just weird. And Same yeah, thing, yeah. That was just, yeah, exactly. So and then it drives I, you to go do something. To take a dump in yeah. the hospital. I, it's I like went, being hungry or, you know, you start <laughs> to get a boner. You're like, all right, I got to creep <laughs> out of here. I had a butt boner. Yeah. So I had to leave and then go. Uh, we were going to get the ultrasound. So I saw my bae in the waiting room. I met up with her. And I'm like, yo, hold up. I'll hit the bathroom and. Dump. I could have ultrasounded that. See, that. see that baby you had locked in there. <laughs> well, that was the thing. She's like, are you going to dump right there? People walk by there. And I'm like, dude, unless you can direct to. me to like the loading dock. That was like a loading dock dump I needed yeah, to Yeah, you need to go down with the blue collar workers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Down to the, I need to hit a handicap stall in the Home the Depot, coal dude. Dude, so then uh, I get done dumping. And there's just a cleaning lady just standing there like a fucking beef eater with a mop. Literally, just, oh. like as if like I had taken too long. Yeah. Eye contact. I was just like... Get in there, babe. Bro, that was kind of like I I hit the family toilet on, at a rest stop this weekend. Not, ooh, rest stop dumps are tough. Rest stop. I just had about eight of them in the last three days. Just hangover fucking rest stop oh. dumps. Dude, I just drove like it was fucking crazy how much we just drove. Oh, dude. Uh, but it, yeah, this is so we were talking about uh, Okani. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad doing it to him. <laughs> so i was calling him the turd all, <laughs> all weekend i was calling him the turd what's well, this origin story the origin story is we <laughs> on the way out we went to notre dame this week we went to indianapolis did a show friday night and then went to the notre dame game on saturday <laughs> so when we drove out to the uh-huh. indie show mm-hmm. from so uh, jesus christ i'm out of it i've been it was party time, bro. Uh, so I went from New York to Philly, where I picked up the turd and Beezer. <laughs> I picked up the turd and Beezer. And then <laughs> we went and stayed at my parents' house that night. And then on Friday morning, we drove from Harrisburg to Indianapolis. But while we were driving out, I took a dump in Ohio. Okay. And uh, Have automatic- you dumped in every state? I've dumped in a like a crazy amount of states. Damn. Uh, on, in the same day, I've dumped in like three different states. <laughs> In the same day, I've shit in like three different states for sure. <laughs> <laughs> just nonstop. Just, oh my God. just fast walking into rest stops after I park. <laughs> just a little hit. <laughs> you just do a little, yeah, hit, a little yeah. hop and start hop. skipping into the. Skipped over the curb. <laughs> uh, so in, in Ohio, I took a shit and the automatic <laughs> flusher didn't work. So I just had to leave a turd. Yeah. Just had to leave one in there. And I was like, yeah, that's going to like scare people. That's going to be spooky. When they open the stall, and there's the turd sitting there waiting. <laughs> so then uh, on Saturday night after the game, me and Beezer, O'Connor went home and was waiting in the hotel room. <laughs> like He was just sitting on the bed in the hotel room. <laughs> we opened the door at night. And that's when I said that was like the exact same experience as some guy in the rest stop in Ohio. When he opened the door, the turd was just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude! Oh, uh, it. it's like, oh, uh, how many episodes? hundred. It was about hundred thirty-seven episodes before we sh- one of us shit our pants. Jarred one loose because of the turd. I mean, calling O'Connor the turd is so fucking funny. I mean, see him sitting up in bed. You call him the turd. Yeah, like the turd was in there just waiting for us. <laughs> oh god and then uh 
Oh, I gotta get it together. We were just joking. I just kept fucking with him. We gotta be professionals about this. I was like, dude. I was like, dude. I won't say it on the podcast. I won't call you the turd on the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Because all of our fans would. I was like, dude. Every time you get on stage, the whole people in the crowd would be like, turd. (laughs) The turd. My fucking head hurts. Uh, oh my god! I mean, I can just—it's so funny because I—he I, probably hates that nickname oh, more man. than anything. Well, dude. no, he was—he was laughing at it, everything was good, but then today, well, this was—he just endured fucking like three or four straight days of driving, me driving, <laughs> him sitting shotgun. Beezer is just in the back, just on his phone, playing a game, nonstop playing like Call of Duty on his phone <laughs> for twelve hours. So I have nothing to do other than to bother the turd. Yeah. I was just sitting there. Just we'd be dry. I couldn't go four minutes without of of silence. I just bothered him for th- three three straight days. Oh my god! And then today he finally today the drive from Harrisburg to Philly. He kind of he started to fight back a little. The turd fought back. The turd started to be like, okay, <laughs> okay, Shane. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh man! I mean, what a. What a funny fucking nickname for him. And just like the turd dude. What's the turd doing? The turd's running around. That is such a, like phonetically, oh. it's just such a good nickname, dude. Oh, man. I can't believe you farted when you were laughing. That's I, hope, I hope they caught that up. That I know. Was... I know. It oh, might have. But yeah, fun. Indianapolis was fucking so fun. You got to come with me. I know. How are the Midwest about. dogs? Midwest dogs are so funny. Damn. Dude made a fucking cake. A skull cake. Fuck. A citrus skull cake that he made at his bakery and brought. Oh, that's so fucking funny. Uh, the guy made a poster. That post, that Boundaries poster was so fucking funny. That was great. Uh, but yeah, it was Indianapolis was yeah, great. Dogs we came went, bearing gifts. And we went and found some scrippers. We went to the script club. How was that? The turd was buzzing, dude. He was... <laughs> really? Yeah, he was Firing buzzing around. All yeah, you know how he is. <laughs> <laughs> he supports the workers. Loves his bays, dude. Uh, but no, it was fun. And uh, yeah, stayed out too late. Yeah, dude. Party time in Indianapolis. You look weak, dude. I am fucking hurting. Damn. And then Saturday we went to the game and again, just got... I, this is the what the, I had the most anxiety about yesterday. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, so me and Beezer got in late. The turd was already waiting. He was in bed, <laughs> staring at the ceiling, just fucking. <laughs> Probably uh, hating that new nickname, dude. That's a tough yeah, it's not a good nickname. It's fucking hilarious, but yeah. But then uh, me and Six were just sitting in the lobby of the hotel, and the dude who worked there started bringing out breakfast food because the, the, we got in we got in that late. Damn, he was setting up the breakfast buffet. So I just. Whew, Straight to it? Biscuits and gravy. I was just putting oh, in work. Oh, man. And then I used the... I was like, Beezer, watch this. And then I was using the uh, serving utensil to just eat straight out of the gravy. And uh, I feel pretty bad about that. Really? Yeah. Damn, you're like Ariana Grande when she wowed <laughs> out. The- <laughs> you ate out of like the omelet yeah. bar? And then it, Yeah. Didn't Ariana Grande do something like that at a donut place? I'm not sure, but... I think people would be way more upset with me doing it than her. Eating straight out of the yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. And I was like, dude. And then just the anxiety of like, oh, God. What if there's like a like security footage of that? Someone gets like a hand TMZ's. <laughs> like TMZ's. Eating out disgraced of Disgraced comedian is seen here in Indiana eating gravy out of a hotel <laughs> breakfast bar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Oh, that'd yeah. be hilarious. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the whole trip. That's, that's what we got that's out what, of it. Yeah. That's the anxiety you took out of that? Yeah, for me, that Going was... Going straight to the tub? G- yeah, using the serving utensil to eat sausage gravy at the hotel breakfast <laughs> was pretty bad. <laughs> I was doing it to be funny. Uh, of course. But still, the next day, I, I wake up like, what a piece of shit fucking move that was. Like, I was like mad at myself. What, do you think you tainted it? Well, you got first crack. I'm sick. Oh, you <laughs> infected a town of people? <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't sick then. I might have got sick from the sauce. You gravy. spread the great Indianapolis cold of 2019? Perhaps. Damn. Perhaps. You're going to go back there next year. There's going to be nobody left, dude. Maybe. Get some tickets. There's going to be the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Every third person just disappeared. Every third person that ate sausage gravy at a <laughs> hotel breakfast bar. That's a good chunk of that population. Oh, uh, oh, my God, dude. So during the game, the Notre Dame-USC game, these, these two dudes behind us just wouldn't shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Start to finish. Wouldn't shut the fuck up. Yeah. It was like, and like, 
totally mundane, worthless conversation. Didn't know shit about football, just yapped for fucking two hours. Three, three and a half. Non-stop. That's tight in there, too. Ruined the fucking game. Really? I, I, I was just furious. I was mad the whole time. I made fun of them at one point. And they, they, everybody in the area laughed. And the guys just kept going back to the conversation. It was crazy. That's weird. It's like nobody can be that fucked up for that long. Like at first, I was like, all right, first quarter, this will stop because he's hammered. Yeah. Hopefully that fucking dies down. Didn't stop. So they were fucked up. It had to have been. Damn. Yeah, it was brutal. And he sat there and gabbed the entire we were time. We fucking talking about the, he, him and this other guy clearly did, like hadn't seen each other in a while. I think they were just old pals. Mm. So they were just sitting there talking about like he's talking about his fucking wife. And he's like, well, you and Arya have a fucking thing going. And like, yeah, I'll admit you can be a bit of a handful, but <laughs> Arya is a great girl. And what you got like just and oh, screaming, just God. screaming. And I turned around because th- th- a play <laughs> happened. <clears throat> and one of them paid attention and was like, holy shit, look at that. And I was like, wait, 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 go back, tell me, finish the fucking Arya story, please. And everyone around was like, yeah, 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 fuck you guys. Oh. And then they just went back to fucking talking. Damn. It's crazy. You're, that's like, a t- you guys are tightly packed in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. That dude. would kind of suck. Yeah, really fucking sucked. And like, the type what of conversation that just... Uh, what were you wearing, actually? What kind of gear did you have? I got a sick-ass fucking uh, Notre Dame uh, champion's jacket. It's fucking sick. It's a throwback. No, it's like a long. It's like a, yeah, you'll see it. I'll be wearing it every day. Trench coat. It's kind of. What? It's a sick. It's a sick jacket. Where'd you Where'd you get it from the bookstore? Yeah, you know me, dude. I'm a papered bro. Damn. It's like what? One twenty five for this. <laughs> Throw it in the back. Yeah, let me get that. Not a big deal. Please. Now nah, your your Notre Dame merch is gonna get better and better True. and better. You know, of all the horrible things that have happened, this is the one thing that's really helped. Like. One one stock that is rising is my Notre Dame merch. <laughs> it's fucking it's sick. Fucking, right? It's business is booming right now. <laughs> I went to a wedding for uh, my cousin. There was 380 people there. Mm. It was humongous. It, it was literally like, it was pretty much all of Delaware County in this yeah. one space. Or a lot of people from there. And uh, dude, so many people kept coming up to me and they'd be like, hey man. No such thing as bad publicity, eh? I'm oh, like, no, I'm I know. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. well, I think this one is. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> this is a pretty bad publicity. I'm like, there's definitely such thing. Yeah, this I'm is like, one. Ari, Kevin Spacey, yeah. Harvey <laughs> yeah, Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's definitely, like, yeah, you know, man. Hey. Like, I mean, he's like, everyone will call him, like, yeah, you know, I mean, how, how do these things go? I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's going to, you know, I, it's it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's just like, uh, yeah, they keep, they all say that. Yeah. Which is like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but yeah, it was just funny. It was, it was the same way. I was at a, uh, I was at a bachelor party like two months ago, and like whenever you see someone you haven't seen in a while, whenever they want to talk Trump, it's the exact the conversation to start it is the same thing. Yeah, someone yeah, yeah. going like, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, you know, he's. I mean, what, I, I don't see him do. You know what I mean? Like, what's he doing? I, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. he's doing that bad. And it's like, dude, <laughs> yeah, what do you want to yeah, talk yeah, about, yeah, dude? You yeah, want to yeah. talk Trump, bro? Get to it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get into I it. I kept doing that to people like while we were fucked up at the. We went to this. Uh, hotel like bar before mm-hmm. the game and then like if i was just standing there i'd be like Psh. or like uh, at the urinal or something i'd be like man I was just reading about that saturday night live thing that's some fucking bullshit and dudes would be like hell yeah man fuck that and i'd be like nice no, nice <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing out feelers yeah it's so funny oh my god you could ask people and they don't you know they don't fucking know what i look like so you just went out like, you were doing i would literally talk idiot. to somebody and be like man can you believe that fucking saturday night live thing they'd be like yes yeah, it's fucking bullshit dude people are pussies these days i'm like yeah, hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I bet that guy's a great guy. Works really hard. Damn, so you're out in Indy doing recon. Yeah, you just camouflaged in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were like no, I had no idea. Dude, I ran it. Oh, this is oh fuck. I'm gonna be embarrassed about telling me this story. Uh, ran into so we saw the starting quarterback, not the current starting, former starting quarterback. Okay, he's stand there. I know him. Me and the turd. No, you wouldn't know him. Me and the turd are scheming. We had a couple drinks at this point. We're like, dude, <laughs> the turd came up with a scheme. He was like, go tell him who you are, dude. We can go party with the fucking team, dude. Go do it. I was like, dude. turd, let's do it. So Pinky I, in the brain, I, dude. <laughs> the turd <is> scheming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was brutal. I walked up to him. I was like, dude, huge fan, man. Yo, you were <laughs> No. <laughs> he was like, no, what? I was like, anyway, that's it. I was just going to get out of here. I'll see you, man. <laughs> Oh my god! How'd you bro- how'd you exactly break it to him? 
uh, something along the lines of you follow comedy news. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, hey, hey. I, I swear to God, I don't know. It was like it was it was getting close to game time. And then he's gonna look it up on his phone and be like, oh, fire. Fuck? No, he did say that. He's like, what'd you say? What'd you get fired for? I was like, nah, I'd be made fun of Asian people. He was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Yeah, that, yeah, that that between that story and the gravy, that was that was the majority of replaying over and over in my head the whole drive home on Sunday. The gravy's not a big deal. I mean, you know, sending an, uh, a rhino virus through the fucking town of Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know I was. Sick. That's kind of bioterrorism. Kind of is. I could probably get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not under this administration. Last one would have gripped you right off, dude. Yeah. They would have fucking taken you down to I'd be in a camp. I'd be in a camp right now. You'd be in Guantanamo. We wouldn't even know right. about it. <laughs> I'd be in Gitmo right now, eating <laughs> sausage gravy. They'd probably make you eat it until you threw up, dude. Mm-hmm. Which wouldn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> good chunk of hotel sausage gravy, and you're you're not feeling good. That's how you, you dump. First crack. That's how you dump across the country. True. That's how you dump in every state, because you ate 10 pounds of biscuits and gravy <laughs> oh. on top of, like... Crazy amount of booze. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I didn't have that wild of a weekend. I did have a lot of chia pudding this weekend. Really? A lot of chia pudding, and I've been taking, like, real weird dumps. What's chia pudding? Chia chia seeds are, like, these little seeds that if you let them sit in water, they kind of expand and become kind of little, like, chewy little balls, almost like tapioca. Okay. But, the, you know, they actually have, like, some nutritional content, not like tapioca. What's tapioca? You know, bubble tea? No, I know what it is, but what what is? Just tapioca flour. Okay, so and it doesn't have nutritional value. Not not much, not compared to a chia seed, dude. So tapioca is dishonest cuisine. No, nah, I wouldn't say it's dishonest. W- would you say tapioca is dishonest or no? Uh, let's see. If you have bubble tea and you put something completely devoid of nutrition, and give someone three bucks for it. I don't know. I'd say it's a bit of a trick. It's tricky. I'd say it's tricky cuisine for sure. <laughs> don't fucking look at me like that. <laughs> I don't know about these adjectives, but go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, bubble. You these ever have bubble these are the adjectives I might use, but go ahead. Man. You ever have bubble tea? No, it's pretty good. It, you, it's just tea with tapioca balls. So you just suck the tea up, and a huge ball flies up in your mouth, and you just chew it. It's like a flavorless gummy bear. Oh, nice. It's like milky. You know mochi, milky. No. You ever had milky before? No. It's a the dessert. That was, it's like wrapped in rice flour and it's ice cream in the middle. No. Milky. That's a. That's another dessert. I don't know it's a good I treat. I don't know how I feel about it, dude. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about milky. It, it's just you eat it and you're just kind of like, eh, I guess I like that. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I hear you. It, can, it confounds, it confounds the taste buds. Like Italian cookies? Like which ones? You know what I mean? The ones that come in like a box. They're, they're like super hard, dry, shitty, nasty. dry. Yeah. Don't fuck with I don't fuck with them at all. Do not fuck with them. There's a lot of desserts out there that just absolutely stink. Someone like biscottis? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, I think you're supposed to dunk you. it in coffee, coffee for yeah. like three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man oh man i um fighting that gravy cold bad are you really yeah i picked up a gravy you're patient zero dude gravy cold dude you got a gravy you got the gravy virus uh- <laughs> <laughs> dude I've been, so i've been eating all these chia seeds and i was, I was like painting my downstairs so i'm like moving and grooving all weekend <laughs> dude i was like wiping my ass today i look at the floor and i'm like what the fuck is that there was little chia seeds scattered all over my... F- I, obviously, I stand up to Captain Morgan wipe my ass, dude. I stand up and fucking hit it like that. And I look down the floor. There were fucking chia seeds. They came... I wiped and they, f- like, shot out of my... They were propelled out of my butt. No. I had fucking owl ass, no. dude. I had an owl ass, dude. That can't be real. I was like an owl. I was sitting there. I wiped my ass and fucking yeah, seeds... Yeah, full rodent. Seeds just went... And like no scat, I had scat popping out. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I had chia seeds. I, I mean, was, that's the point of seeds. I had a, is to do exactly that. True, for you but to eat them and then shit them out and they spread. Chias are supposed to be uh, flax. You're supposed to have to grind up chia. You're supposed supposed to be absorbable by your body. So I, you know, in good faith, I got some chia pudding. Didn't really chew it up that well, thinking like all's good. And you shit it out on the floor. I had a couple. I had some. Sp- I, I my butt was. Did you pick seeds. them up and examine them? I, yeah, I wanted. To, I did pick them up too. They're so small. I had to like press my finger down on them so they'd stick to my finger. <laughs> like I like looked at. Them, I was like, "That's definitely a chia seed." Knocked wow. it back in. Wow. And then I'd wipe my ass and look at the toilet paper. I'm like, "That's exactly what I picked off the ground." Wow. My ass was spitting seeds, dude. I was germinating the tile, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit. I was kind of pissed about How it. How far away? Like, I mean, 
They didn't go that far. So you stand up and lift your leg? You Captain Morgan to wipe your ass? Well, yeah, I don't lift my leg like as high as Captain Morgan because he puts his leg onto a barrel. But you I, stand I put up my leg onto a squatty potty, so I'm like a, a like a minor, really? like a minor Captain Morgan. Well, no wonder you had to wipe your ass again when you got Why? here. You wipe bad. Well, I used to wipe sitting down. You wipe but poorly. I had to switch. I, I did the stand up wipe. Why? Why'd you have to switch? It's weird for me to like lean all the way over and reach around. I feel like that's how girls wipe their butt. Uh, Otherwise, the the best thing is you lift up the fucking bees and you go from the front and just dot just dab that's, it up. That's wild. Just dab it out, dude. Nobody wipes like that. <laughs> yeah, I used to do it. You used to wipe from the front. I used to grab my lift my balls up and just fucking dab it out and just throw it in. I used to spread. I would like spread and hit my fucking dinosaur skin underneath my balls and be like, oh, man. <laughs> well, yeah, of course. How long were you doing that for? Pretty much until like four years ago. No. I swear to God. You would wipe. You would lift wiper. your sack up and yeah. reach in front of you and to get your butthole. Yeah. And I would wow. reach around. I would give myself a whole reach around on the toilet because it's like you can scoop down. Otherwise, like lifting. Shifting my cheeks off and like doing like a yeah. side wipe, it's just I'm definitely just gonna smear my fucking ass crack. You can do that. My, I'm just gonna like, spray shit on my back. You can do that. Did you ever do that and then sit back down on the toilet and you you stamp the toilet? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I hate that, yeah, dude. definitely. I hate that. Uh, but yeah, so I stand up. Standing up is the best. Wait, it's, that front wipe is. You did that since you were a boy. Since until, I was a young boy. Until just about when you were thirty, you did it for almost thirty years. Pretty much, yeah. I stopped. I like was talking to my cousin about it and was like, just brought it up like nonchalantly. I was like wiping my, lifting my balls to wipe my ass. This was a couple years ago. And he was like, what? Yeah. I was like, oh, my bad. I guess you hadn't really ever seen anyone wipe their ass. No. So you don't know. No. Now that, you know, I got someone looking out for me now, but it's like. Yeah, I'll take care of you. Yeah, I got someone. Let me know. I'll f- oh, yeah, you got I a got fucking. Bae. You got an ass. <laughs> I got bay, <bae, laughs> dude. Butt, man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to know, dude. Until, like, I was always assuming, like, yeah, my ass is fine. And then that would jar one loose. They're not a dump, but that might stimulate a fucking J.O. What? G- getting the whole nuts and dick and nuts in a hand. Yeah, it might start one for me. Uh, oh, holding holding the whole thing? If you get the whole package and are moving around a little, that might result in me immediately firing one off so if you're holding you're you got it like in a nice tropical fruit basket and you're reaching around i guess that's kind of a double whammy and you're hitting butthole while you, you got the whole group together yeah you're just fucking dabbing too you're just you know and you're poking it and you got to get in there no one ever tells you how deep you got to go into your butt to wipe it true do you go into your butthole to wipe it not anymore you would stick your the toilet paper. Not that far in. It would penetrate your asshole. Not on the very last one. I would do like a nice surface wipe, and then, pl- plug and then it I'd up. do an exploratory probe, and I'd be like, not like real Nothing far in. Nothing left in the cabin. The, finger, the way you're you're down, like I would just like it would be like the however big the toilet paper was. I would give it maximal pressure on the toilet paper, and then pop out. So I'm not like my I'm not like using physical force. Yeah. It's just like I'm letting the toilet paper go as deep as it possibly can go as toilet paper. Yeah, you're letting the toilet paper do the work. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna like, the night before... You're I'm jamming up your ass. The night before, I'm, shit. like, twisting it into, like, real hard little <laughs> fucking paper balls. <laughs> Prepare, like, 15, sit them up by the toilet. So you would lift your ass, your, your balls up, and then just, like, not in a wiping motion. Yeah, you're no one told like me how to wipe my fucking, fucking ass. jamming yeah. motion into your butthole. Kind of, yeah. So this has became a real fucking uh, erotic... Thing. Not for me, just Lifting for you. Lifting your sack and fucking fingering your butthole from just, the front. That was just business, dude. No, I, I know you probably thought it was strictly biz, but I'm telling you, if you lick, lift your whole the whole gang up, yeah. and then in order the way you wipe your ass is to just jab and finger at your butthole. Yeah. A little more, a little more artful than that, though. I was kind of like... A little, yeah. You know, I was dabbing. Feathering. I'd hit it with some... I'd, I'd waddle over with like my pants on my ankles, fucking get some water on that thing. Really? Wet the toilet paper, for sure. You gotta get. Did you get? Do you ever get the wipes? I got them now. I ordered a case. Yeah, I got a case. People want to talk shit. I've been in your bathroom they and co- seen it. Yeah, they come in the guest bathroom, see a case, like literally thirty packs of butt wipes, and it's like, yeah, dude. Yeah, we have what clean assholes. Around I work here. hard. I fucking play hard, dude. Work hard. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh but yeah, this is uh, this is a tough day. Why? Just the now the hangovers are now two days long. Ah. Uh. But. Uh, I'm all right. I'm doing all right. This cold sucks. Yeah. It's kind of impeding my thought process quite a bit. Think so? Yeah. Sinus is a little sinus. And you got a doodle tooth. And I got a doodle tooth going. Yeah, Which man. I thought was not acting up, but it acted up a couple times this week. For weekend. sure. It don't yeah. go away. I got to get rid of it. It yeah, sucks, gotta dick. I got to go to the fucking dentist. There goes all your money. 
<laughs> Come, on, Come on, man. Come on, man. Please, dude. You please. get you could get you could probably honestly get like fake teeth if you want it. Yeah. You should. I should get just gold teeth. Some canines. <laughs> Are you saying all gold teeth? All yeah, all gold canines. Damn. <laughs> 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 you look like a fucking street shark <laughs> Damn Dude if you got all canines That would be fucking sick You look like Baraka The only thing I want to talk about right now Is the turd dude What is it? The turd <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god Yeah I was just threatening him With What? If I made all the dogs call him the turd Yeah Just people with the turd Like oh. He's like Yeah why would you do that? He don't want it. <laughs> no, don't call him the. T- listen, if you listen to this podcast and you see Chris O'Connor, do not call him the turd, please. <laughs> please do not. Yeah, dude, that would be horrible. I will feel bad if you do, but we were joshing around and calling him the turd, <laughs> <laughs> and it is funny. God damn it, it's funny. Oh boy, yeah, I'm fucking hurting. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. We got one off at my parents' house last night. That was big. What do you mean you got one off? You know what I'm talking oh. about. Oh. Fired one off. Did you really? Yeah. How to feel? I've been a lot, a lot of that lately. What you've been firing off there a lot? I've been staying at my parents' house a, a couple times this month. So you think you're are you jerking harder now than you did before? What do you mean? Now that there's like some real hard stress in my life? Well, no, I'm just saying like now that you're back at your parents' house, would you say this is like the best jerking you've ever done there? Last night was one of the better cranks I've had. <laughs> really? Yeah, this was just after two days, three days on the road. Oh, you had a hangover. You did a hangover. And a hangover. Turd. So the hangover makes you want to jerk off right away. But I've been sharing a room with the turd. <laughs> you can't jerk off with the turd. <laughs> so you're fucking horny. I was I was loaded. That's an erotic roommate, dude. <laughs> that is a very erotic roommate. Me and O'Connor do have some sexual tension. For sure. For sure. For sure. We almost, the we got upgraded into a bigger room last yeah. night. Or two nights ago, but initially it was in a king size. It was just one bed. Yeah. And me and me and the Terry were going to split it. You guys want to share the bed? I would have slept with him. No problem. You have no choice, yeah. No problem. <laughs> you would have bedded with the turd? I would have bedded the turd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, oh he's going to be none too pleased. But... You think so? Think he's going to call you a traitor? Yeah, I think he'll be pretty upset about this, especially after how loyal he, he was to me the last like month. Damn. <laughs> just first chance I get, just immediately call him the turd. Damn, you think you you think you turned on him? I turned on him. Damn. I mean, I it's so him. it's too funny of a nick. And all you have to do is just be like, yeah, sure, I'm the turd. But I don't think that's tough. Think, think, the turd's fit. tough to escape. To call- <laughs> As a nickname? I mean, it's, it's like anything else. The pest, the turd. The pest is great. The pest is great. The turd is too good. The pest? Wait, are you talking about Jared? It's John Leguizamo. Oh, my friend Jerry, we call it the pest. They call it the pest? Yeah. Oh, I mean, is he's that, a pest. Did it, did it ever... He just will literally text nonstop just to fuck. <laughs> like, he's only instigating shit at all times. Did he ever live it off, or is it still the pest? Uh, my friend Weaver still calls him the pest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ditching a one-syllable nickname is kind of tough. The pest. Yeah, or the the two turd. Syllable, really, the yeah. turd is the turd. I was like, don't say it, but we've been talking about the turd. Yeah, for the turd's the only minutes. thing. <laughs> well, and especially because O'Connor's so funny, like all the way, like he just fucks up constantly. Yeah, he's always just fucking up, like for a guy who does. It. So, like calling him the turd, watching him buzz around. The turd is always he's coming up with a plan to get something. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah, it is, man. Oh my god, yeah, dude. I uh, dude, I figured out. I have fucking CTE. Yeah, are you sure? Pretty sure. All right. That's why I've been spazzing. I did the math. <laughs> I've not been I've never been spazzing this hard dude I don't think it's CTE I think you, you think? just got engaged And have a kid on the way yeah, And it was just before <laughs> National engaged. scandal So I think maybe That has something to do with you Freaking out all the time Could be I can't tell Whenever like some shit's going on with me I'm just kind of like Nah I'm chilling And then yeah, I'll like yeah, smash yeah. a glass Into the dishwasher And be like Alright Maybe I'm not chilling A little bit over the top Yeah Dude there's uh, I was fighting with my bae and just, I'm telling you though, it's been post concussion. I've always been a phone smasher. Like my big thing was like driving in the car, arguing with a bay, and then like she'd be like, "I can't do this right now." I would get, I would get banged on. She would dickhead me. And yeah. I would just be like, "Boom!" into the passenger side, and I would shatter. I would break my phone screen. That was yeah. like, you know, that's happened. I, I always told, I told, uh, I told Brittany that I'm like, as soon as I smash, you made me smash your phone. I was like, you're the hall of greats. What's your background on your phone? Um. It's a classic. It's a classic okay. scene. 
It's a classic scene of Orpheus and Eurydice. What are they doing? Uh, well, Orpheus was sent to rescue her out of Hades. And uh, the, the god of the netherworld was just like, all right, dude. He was like so sick on the loot. They were like, we'll let you take her out, but you can't turn around and look at her until you get out of there. And then he was like, they're right at the mouth. And she said something, and he turned around. She floated back down and died. Fuck. Yeah, dude, he almost pulled his bay out of hell. Fuck. And then she was like, hey. And he was like, don't. Oh, <laughs> shit. Fuck. Fuck. Um, so back to the CT thing. You yeah. think you have CT? I think so, dude. I've, I've never spazzed this hard. Dude, I'm talking like, I'm talking, obviously, I kicked the water bottle, broke it. That was nothing. That was small potatoes. What was that? That was like a couple months ago. And then I don't remember that. I remember kicking the ba- a box, bag. That's right. I kicked a bag. Socks. The socks. I basket. kicked the socks basket. Yeah, I yeah. spazzed out. Kicked the socks basket. That was totally. Which had to be funny because a bunch of like soft and like it colorful was. things flew everywhere. They were footies, and they yeah. like they didn't barely even flew. They just kind of spilled over. So I grabbed an empty water bottle, smashed that. Very unsatisfying, but the cap broke, and I was like, "All right, cool." Nice. And then uh, I don't. That's the thing too, dude. I like been blacking out. Like, we'll be arguing, and then all of a sudden, I'll, like, break something, and I'll be like, what the fuck are we fighting about? No idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm basically having, I'm, like, I'm killing brain cells. Well, what you guys are fighting about is probably very forgettable. It's annoying, yeah. It's, like, it's as like, soon as you do something, like, break something, you and your brain wasn't going to maintain whatever that fucking argument was. True. Because I guarantee the argument was retarded. Oh, definitely. They tend to be. Dude, I, there was a mug... It's a clear mug, super heavy. Yeah. Tried breaking the mug. Just fucking put a, a hole in my floor. <laughs> <laughs> the mug didn't break. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. You spiked a mug? Dude, I spiked a mug. I spiked an olive oil bottle. That was disastrous. That was oh, bad. Oh, that's a shitty cleanup. Dude, I had to repaint. I mean, I was going to repaint anyway, but like when oil gets on the wall, that shit's like, yeah, that shit's really bad. I had to take crud cutter. Wipe it in, wipe it out with water. It was a splatter over the wall and the whole fucking all over the ceiling. So I had to do all this stuff. Whoa. I fixed, I repainted it and fixed when it. When did you do this and where? In the kitchen? A few weeks ago, yeah. You smashed a bottle of olive oil? There was not that much left, but yeah. there's was, yeah. Why? I was spazzing, dude. I was, what we're, were you spazzing we're about? We're just arguing. It's just it's not even about what we're arguing about. It's the mode of battle. So it's like, you know, we're chilling. We're fine. When did that happen? Huh? When did the olive oil happen? Pretty much the day before we did our last cast. You know when I was all fucking googly-eyed? Just yeah. Like, oh, oh, I was skitzing the fuck out, dude. I was spazzing. So, Damn. Yeah, dude. I've been I've been hitting into some like real infantile rage. It's pretty sick. That's cool. But, yeah, I think I'm good now. I think, I've, I've, I think I'm think I'm I'm all out of my system, dude. <laughs> Shop vac's been busy sweeping up glass. But other than that, dude, it's been... Because you've just been smashing things. Smashing shit, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Did man. you talk to anybody about this? Yeah, I have a therapist. I talked to my therapist. How'd that go? She was just like, you know, it's fucking hot, and I was like, yo, thanks. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, bitches do, bitches do respond to smashing things like punching walls. If you punch a wall, a girl loves you for sure. It's like a guarantee. Well, what the fucked up part is, I'll sit there quietly and be like, okay, well, we can just talk about this. You don't have to yell. Just keep yelling, keep yelling, keep yelling. There's something about getting yelled at, I think, that sends me over the edge. When I'm being quiet, I'm being cool. I'm also being cool kind of in like a dickish way. Be like, I- I'm not I'm not yelling. I don't know why you got to be yelling. Bah, 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 bah. And then it'll be like a storm. It's like the yell to a last word storm off. It just fucking, I get like. Oh, so you smash them post fight. Like while yeah, she's like, gone. It'll be, well, it'll be or like. like she, her walking away. On like, the walk off. I don't have anything cool to say. And I'm just like, I'll be like, I'll be, cl- usually I'm like cleaning dishes and shit. Like, okay, yeah. well, just like. The you guys got to get a dishwasher. We do have one. All right. But so I'll be, you I'll be get like someone else washing dishes. I smashed. The other thing was I was loading the dishwasher and then it was a glass. And I smashed that into the dishwasher. Into the dishwasher. <laughs> Fuck. It was horrible, dude. Fuck. It's a bad cleanup. So you smashed a glass. You failed at smashing a mug. Yeah. You smashed a water bottle. You kicked a box of footies. Footies. And you punched s- the stair railing, hurt my knuckles. You punched the stair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, All right. That was yeah. A, that was a I remember fail. this. Because I, I, I've never done that stuff. I never punched or smashed. Never smashed. Things. But I any I remember like I would want to, and like I would like go to punch a wall and like kind of hold up, yeah. like, kind of like don't hit it that <laughs> hard. I'd be like, Fuck is it? 
And then you know, and then you have the realization that you're a pussy, and yeah, man, you shouldn't be mad at it's, anything. It's not a good look. Exactly, that's the problem, man. It's not a good look. So I've been real. I mean, I was like cooling out real good. It's something about a fucking woman yelling at me. It fucking oh, really? sends me over. Something the fucking, about that bothers you. It sends me over the boy, fucking oh boy. edge, dude. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> good lord, when women be yapping at you. Oh, and they hit the high notes on you. You're just and I'm like, all right, hey, we don't have to yell. Like, remember, we have a, we do a couple scouts on everything. I'm like, remember, remember on, relax. Uh, uh, just Julia, listen. What, Dude, then or, olive oil. or she'll fucking we'll be talking and she'll go like this and just ignore me and start writing it down to t- bring to our couples counseling. Oh my god! And I'll just be like, oh, that's cool. What do you, what do you got? Like peek over her shoulder. Like, I'm, I'm not, what are you writing? How are you writing? Yeah, let me get my side. Yeah, 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 Dude, yeah. It's fucking brutal. Wow. That's when I reached level three. That's when I was just like, you know what, man? I, I have to have to transcend this. Because it's also a horrible look, dude. Wait, wait, did we talk about the levels? We on talked here? about level three, yeah. All right. Just that when you just recognize level two is where you recognize the shit they do. Yeah. And you're like, this is on these motherfuckers. Level three is go, all right. They're doing their best, dude. This is just, they just do weird fucking shit. And you just fucking sign in the cross them. Yeah. After you fucking smashed a bottle of but you got, you know, Dr. Britt. You got Dr. Chris Bragg. in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> you got to smash a fucking <laughs> bottle over the sink. Well, it's embarrassing. It's kind of unbecoming, dude, to be fucking breaking stuff. It's I'm, very unbecoming. I'm pretty chill. I'm pretty chill. You are deceptively not chill. It's a shadow side, dude. Yeah. I'm there's telling a side you. of you. You're a little brat. Yeah, a little. Brat McCusker will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're gonna lose a game at NHL and stomp up the steps. <laughs> Be like, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't know why you gotta fucking talk so much while we play. Yeah, you I don't fucking ruin it because you're an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> It's not about fucking fun. video games, I'm dude. sorry I don't just sit here and play all day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would play video games, but yeah, dude, I would like, start talking shit about that. Like, I don't even know how you got so good at these games. It's fucking embarrassing. If you ask me, I'm going upstairs for six hours. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, man, that, the olive oil bottle was a bad one. That olive was, oil bottle sucks, especially just because you had to do, like, chores to fix it. Dude, it was like, I didn't know if it was going to actually work. Spackle. It was, you had it to was do. crud cutter. If you ever, anyone ever gets a bunch of olive oil, first of all, don't smash olive oil. If you do it, it's crud cutter. And then you do dish soap and water, scrub it down real good, another spray and wipe a crud, cut, crud cutter, and then sand that down in a coat of shellac. It was a fucking extensive, dude. Wow. It was extensive. And then I painted over that with a beautiful off-white. Nice. Gorgeous now. The kitchen is Kitchen's healed. gorgeous. Our rela- they, painting the kitchen was definitely the, it was the mending of our relationship. Yeah. Very symbolic. I only pretty much move and communicate through symbolism. Yeah. So... You know, I painted the whole kitchen, whole down. Dude, she had these colors picked out. Oh, my God. Wow, you guys. Our, her color scheme she put up, I was like, this is looking like a fucking high school gymnasium, dude. It was like just the weirdest. I was like, dude, I had to, I had to take charge of the design. She, oh, you were saying her color designs were shitty. Well, we both like a bunch, having a lot of colors, but there was she tried to throw in this orange out of nowhere in like the middle of the room, and I was just like, I let her put it up, and I was just like, yeah, I'm going to fucking wipe this out. Nice job. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Oh, well, you're a paint guy. Exactly. You know your paints. Professional painter, bro. Would you go a bear? Bear. Come again? Bear. Home Depot, bro. What'd you go with? Uh, fucking Ben Moore, bro. Oh, all right. I don't know who's. I, I don't paint. I'm not a peasant. I don't do paint things. I did. I ben, only live a kingly. Ben shit. Moore, Aura, matte finish. Whew. Bro, wow. it's, it's the best juice. In, it's the it's the best residential juice in the game. Really, bro. It's like syrup. It's so thick. It covers like a fucking bitch. Wow. Bear is like fucking water. Just I would always use the roller and try to go too fast and just spray on me. And, you get this. Uh, I would, yeah, I was, I was never a great painter. Who'd you paint with? Just my family would make me paint things. Really? Yeah, Your dad's good. a good painter. Phil likes painting. Does he really? Yeah, he I, really does. Bro, I fucking love it. Likes painting. I love it. it it's like you. Yeah. Get, I get into like a trance zone when I'm sitting there because you're just like this, just cutting in. And once you get good at like making a straight line, I mean, no tape, obviously. Once you get into making a straight line. You, you don't just, use tape? Hell no, bro. Oh, well, I, I use tape. You use I'm tape? I'm a tape guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too proud. Not here. I'm not too proud. I don't want to make stupid mistakes. I, I like to play it safe, get it done, what get the job in, done. What happens when it bleeds through the tape, though? That's when I get ticked. That's when I <laughs> smash a bottle. <laughs> yeah, it was nice, man. I just sat there for like the three days, just bombed out and just painted my hole downstairs. That's nice. Looks beautiful. How did she feel about this? She's, lo- she's loving she's it. She's loving it? Loving the color. It's like she's McDonald's in there. Oh, dude, everyone's happy, dude. Oh, man, you would have loved the food choices this weekend. What'd you have? Pretty much fast food for three days. Bro. Yeah. What the hell? You were like me, Beezer, and the turd hitting up fucking rest stops. Dude. You would have had a Why good Why are you guys eating time. like that? I would have been eating fucking gas station snacks. <coughs> 
Beezer would come in with some sweet treats. He was eating fucking ice cream sundaes in the, in the back. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, me, Beezer, and the turd are not a good fucking trio. No yeah. one, no one's there to kind of hold anybody accountable. That's tough, dude. That's very, all three are fucking like, yeah, do whatever, do this. Very yeah. Lord of the Flies scenario. It dude. is. You guys, Sorry, need, you guys need. Blow my nose go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm gonna pause it. We're back. We're back. Wow. We're back. We've been joined with some high caliber talent, dude. Two thick fucking zaddies just came in here. Dicks out. Dicks plump. One brought sweet treats and orange juice. The other brought a cold. <laughs> you have a cold as well. He is getting cold. over it. I'm getting over it, dude. Joining us now are Tim Barley and Mike Rainey. Thank you for Let's having go. us, guys. The hell yeah. The fuck's up? This is a real Let's fucking go. treat. Let's fucking this do is it, dude. Woo. This I is think nice. we need to discuss what just happened with the, <laughs> the doll that you just showed us. Yeah, Pretty man. fucking nonchalant. Yeah. Pretty like, hey, check out this doll I bought <laughs> yeah. to watch my girlfriend or wife. Uh, we've been together almost 20 years, but we're wife. not married. Yeah. 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 Legally. Uh, yeah, he bought a... Oh, wait. Should we not talk about no, that? No, go for it. Dude. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I should have fucking asked before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you explain it. Go ahead, man. Yeah, well, um, it's always been a dream of mine to see my wife chow box. So um, I figured we'd start off easy and buy a uh, sex torso. You just bought the torso. Well, I have to ask, too, is that also might be the best way to get a sex torso in the house. <laughs> Classic Trojan horse. But yeah, it's for you to yeah. just eat pussy. Yeah. And you're like every yeah. night, like, oh, yeah. oh, oh fuck. Oh. Yeah, well, sex torso. Wait, well, did you consider a fleshlight first? Or did you just nah. go straight to the nah, flesh man, flood lamp? Zero to 60, man. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's Well, you need wild. to learn how to grip butt cheeks. You know, you can't do... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that's 69 and shit. <laughs> True. Good Lord. When your kids stumble upon that thing in the closet... <laughs> oh. You're going to have to keep it in a pillowcase and put it with, like, the stack of pillows at the head of your bed. <laughs> that's going to be tough to conceal. Dude, that's hiding a dead body for yeah. however long Roll it up in the carpet to throw it out. You're going to have to. Your kids are going to find that. Well, it's eventually going to be in a closet with a dead kid. <laughs> <laughs> have you, like, just for starters, like, laid it on your body and laid there? I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, you haven't gotten it yet? No. You no, can definitely I, try to put it on if you can. Yeah, I, I will. Should I'm call gonna... up the vagina and fucking <laughs> <laughs> inhabit it. It's going to expand Just belly. Egging it. You got to dress up like Sonic the Hedgehog first. <laughs> or it doesn't count. Dude, that's a sick way. That's a sick thing to do to get a sex torso. Yeah. Because you can be plugging the B while she's fucking eating the fake box. You can be plugging the fake butt. I don't think she's going to be into eating the fake box. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not really about her. <laughs> I hear it's you. about you. Save it for your birthday. Yeah. Does she know this thing's coming in the mail? Yeah, yeah. I actually sent it to her when I when I saw it on uh, it was like some Amazon? like hotpeppers dot com or like some <laughs> fucking sicko website. You go to like a sex torso website. Well, they have torsos the on most sites. The thing with torsos is they're a lot cheaper than full limbed ladies. Okay. So just a bust, like a classic Roman statue. Yeah, just a looks like you're porking the black doll. Yeah. <laughs> I think the eyes would be the deal breaker on a full lady. Really? So you'd probably just have to get a headless. You'd but, have to stop short of a headless or your wife wouldn't go for it. But the thing is, you can custom make your own ladies. Like if you go to like, if you have like tax money, you can go to like the real doll site <laughs> and just get your own kind of lady. Like the whole head to toe? Whatever you want. The whole enchilada. Yeah, they're like what? Like 1500 bucks? Yeah. The whole, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah you, you can get a fucking lady, dude. I could just bring a sex doll. Just take it on the road. You could. Yeah. Well, or they make... Put it between you and your babe while you're sleeping. Yeah, just <laughs> oh, gradually so ease her sick. out of the equation. <laughs> and you know what the the one of the stranger aspects of this is? Like they make kid size sex dolls. Stop. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Where did you saw this on the website? Yeah. Jesus, that's rough. You let yeah. to have them? <laughs> How much cheaper are they? <laughs> <laughs> Do they sell them by the pound. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough debate. To find a child let sex bo- doll? I don't know if there's a lot of debate to be had there. <laughs> I think you should let the boys have those. Child let sex the dolls? Peds, let the peds get those. Get a hold of those. You Make think? Feel I think like, you should feel the real thing. They should be by prescription only, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, like, you yeah. Gotta, everyone has to know about you first, and then you can get nah, one. Nah, that'll be like the Oxycontin epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought it was medicine. Well, we didn't know. It's, in, it's like just like fucking kids. Oh, I thought, I thought you were talking about like a black market, like dudes getting the script for the child sex I'm talking doll. About, I'm talking about guys it. getting hurt, like doing like the trash truck. They're like, yeah, I had off for a couple weeks. I got a child sex doll. Now I'm fucking real kids. <laughs> 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 the training wheels are off. Yeah. The doctor gave it to me, said it would help. Fucking now I'm fucking real kids. Yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, like, I, I think you guys all understood what I meant, right? What? 
uh, maybe uh, that the real thing would be better. No, I don't think I agree with that at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, the pedophiles could be quelled a little bit if you toss them, toss down a little. Yeah, no, out. absolutely. Did you, ever, did you ever try to like watch porn your way out of like a pussy drought? It doesn't work. Eventually, you just like throw the phone down. And you're like, I need pussy. <laughs> yeah, but you also never had a real doll in this True. in this comparison, dude. You're one step short here. What's the rules on like where you? You ever try to fifteen hundred dollars your way out of a pussy trap? Are, are you yeah. allowed to like go put your like real boy sex doll on like the slide and be like, hey, come here? <laughs> <laughs> What's the rules around? Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like build a bear. You can buy him outfits. <laughs> you stuff your own boy. <laughs> you talk talk to him through a chain link fence at the playground. <laughs> Daddy's gonna get you back. <laughs> yeah. Daddy's Daddy's real close to getting you back. So well, you tell Cheyenne. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta find a lady to tell you that she found the judge that will keep him away from you. <laughs> You're like, no, I, I'm gonna get. What kind of dicks are on the kids? <laughs> no, I don't. You're not gonna have boy dolls. The only one that We're they not. had on the website was a girl doll. Dolls. Shane, it's funny you bring that up because I think I you have to get that custom made. Dolls. Yeah, that's a custom order. That's a custom. There's no way they're yeah. selling little boy dolls. The aftermarket I mean, the, baby <laughs> dick on a doll. <laughs> yeah, you, well, they, you can get one. You can get one made. Are the boy dolls functional? There are no boy dolls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, I'm saying, can you custom make a functional boy doll? You know what? I think we just found our sex doll niche. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah there is no take it on Shark big market right there yeah. for young boys. Close, you know what I mean? Closing by, a gap yeah. in the market, dude. Oh, you know what I mean by functional, too, right? No. You can... <laughs> they can Suck it off. <laughs> you know, oh, no, there are dildos. The squirt, Matt, there yeah. are dildos you could fill them with. They actually make a, a, a jizz... Um, uh, Imitation that you could fill inside a these serum. things, and yes, a serum if you will. Yep. And if you squeeze the balls, it'll shoot out. And people... yeah, I see them in porns all the time; they piss me off. Yeah, I'm like ah, suck, fake dick. Dude. When a guy, especially the screen grabs like a girl covered in jizz, and it's like, yes, dude, I'm excited <laughs> to see this. And it's just some clearly turkey baster. Yeah, guys holding his dick on the entire time he's yeah, having yeah, sex. Yeah. It'll get little fool me for like ten minutes, and uh-huh. I see him holding it the whole time. I, no, usually like the third or fourth rope. Oh, the like, rope. Oh, never yeah. mind. It's probably how this sucks. Yeah, it's probably how factory workers feel when they see like everything automated that they used to do. <laughs> see this, these arms putting together like a like a Cadillac or something. Yeah, that's how you feel when you see all those ropes. So you can <laughs> order little girls, and you just can't order a little boy doll. Yeah, there I was think that's a kind of boy on there. That's probably a demand thing. That's probably not like a regulation or true, right? I, I, no, I, I also would imagine they're not marketing them as little girl dolls. You know, what I are they doing? It's Jun- just like junior size. Uh, you can hide it easier. So we made it small. On the go? It just happened to have it's a travel tails. real doll, yeah. yeah. It's, it's an on the go. It fits in a car seat. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's they, TSA carry on. <laughs> yeah, carry on real doll. It's like when they make like a yeah. smaller PlayStation. Are you tired True. of buying a ticket for your real doll? <laughs> Damn, dude. I can't wait to your... So it's just a torso then. Yeah. But you're you're all right with it. You're all right with... Like I felt horrible when I had a flashlight for like a month or however long we had that. Yeah, we did have flashlights. How long did we have those? Things? I think mine. I threw mine out first, only because I ruined it. I didn't watch you, it. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked up my. Dick. I threw mine out. I ran out of lube, so that kind of just. It's useless without you, that. Yeah, if you try caveman, you know, just drop it into that dumpster. It's like a mouse trap. If you yeah. take a flashlight and you don't lube it up, it's like sticking in a sticky trap. Did you get powder that you put inside of it? That's like a uh, disinfectant. Because I remember when I had a um, a pocket pussy back in like ninety eight. Damn. It came with it. And it's like you're running under the faucet, and like you're supposed to like dump the powder in Dry once it's wet. It. Yeah, yeah. It dries it up. Oh, that's I... what, what home brewers use to yeah. clean their <laughs> <laughs> micro poonery. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I am ashamed to admit I took very bad care of my synthetic vagina. Yeah, what do you I think would that just tells like, you? I would just shower with it, and then just like bring it in to clean it, and like fuck it in the shower, and then like just. Kind of like let the water hit it and shake it off and yeah, dude, they're like contact lenses, like thirty days max, and then you gotta fucking throw them out and then yeah, yeah, yeah. but you leave them in way too long. Smuggling one of those out, we had like we were living with like what four other dudes, and you'd bring your flashlight to like clean the wear it in the shower. (laughs) (laughs) I'd have to like smuggle it back to my room real. That was the worst. It was the worst. Swaddle it in a towel. Yeah, man. Carry down the hallway. uh, Shameful. Yeah, eventually you just had to set it free. How'd you feel when your babe found it? The fucking dumpster when my babe found it. Yeah. Ashamed, yeah. So that's what's bringing me to this: is this guy's ordering a fucking torso with no shame. That no, would, well, that would I'd feel horrible. What's a gift? I, was, I didn't order it with any shame, but I I imagine like if I'm gonna pork thing, this when thing, when you hold that thing, yeah. you'd be like, what have I done? Well, I remember feeling that with the uh, pocket pussy, and on top of that too, I left it at home when I moved out. I had it, and I kept it in a leather bag. 
And I kept it in a leather bag in my closet. And it was the last thing I left behind when I moved out of my mom and dad's house. Oh, I don't God. think she saw it, though. Like, I went back as soon as I realized. And it was like one of those things where, like, you realize you left the oven on. So I went back and I got it. And I threw it in the sewer at the end of the street. Damn. Yeah. Some Ninja Turtle. I know. Yeah, I was <laughs> leather bag. <laughs> with a he's he's putting five pie. bucks up thinking it's his pizza. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Some Ninja Turtle. Ew, <laughs> dude. Yeah, fucking radical. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I can't. I'm excited for you, honestly. I can't wait till you bring that I'm going to send you pictures, man. Oh, yeah. please do. Dude, yeah, we, 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 I, that'd be a nice Imgur stream, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you ever find your dad's porno mags and you're like, whoa, this is crazy. This is. Can I even enjoy this? This Never is risky. Found out, yeah. no. Never found it. I know. That's what I'm, again, that's what I'm saying about Mike's. Mike's well, that's what I'm saying is like now. Open like, that closet and be like, Jesus any, Christ, There's a potential there's a for torso? any kid to find a fucking flashlight or a full torso. A torso in the closet. And then they're at a crossroads right there. They're like, oh my God. Do, do, what I, do I fuck do it? I, do I? <laughs> Of that Dare answer is yes. That's a new complex yeah, that they haven't Ooh, named yet. That's a complex for you now. Your kid, your kid might fuck your torso, and then you're gonna fuck. Oh my! Your the cats in the cradle. Eats it out. It's the cats in the cradle. Kid, you know, <laughs> your kid might cuck your torso. Your kid's. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna nip that in the butt. I'm just gonna get him the kid doll. Yeah, it's true. gonna be under the Christmas tree with a bow on it. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, make good. sure your boy doesn't fuck that thing. He's not a fucking age yet. He's got another two years. All right, I good. think before that's when the good. that's when you're at the potential for the most disturbing shit to happen. True. I think, <laughs> yeah, like when you when you're not expecting it. That's when because like right now, like uh, our our boy's taking a lot of showers lately, but he's too young. Oh. So like now, I'm like, well, what happens when I eventually suspect that this dude's beating off my house? Do I like ask him about it? What do I do? I think you just let him let him roam. Yeah, let yeah. it rip, right? Yeah, let him go. Let him beat off. Yeah, how are you gonna? Are you talking about like catching him cold handed or just? Like I don't want to catch him. That's the thing. It's like I I want to stop him from fucking beating off in communal spaces in my house. Sure, but I also don't want to like number one ask him about it and the other like what am I gonna like? Gotcha. Have, don't do I that. Have the talk and just scar him for life. Like yo, it's chill if you beat off and he'll be like, oh, fuck that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's that. never gonna want to beat off again. Dude. <laughs> dude, that, I actually think it's lit if you beat off. <laughs> Tim, that shower thing was my move. And like as soon as I figured out how how the the pieces work, that's all I was doing. What age? Uh, probably eleven. And right. then I remember I had it would take like an hour long shower after school every day. Yeah. And I came home, and my mom was on the phone with my aunt. She's like, "There he is, the cleanest boy in Delaware County." <laughs> 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 what were you doing in the shower? Just beating it relentlessly. <laughs> oh, and like I didn't know that like cum didn't go down the drain. Yeah, it oh, just yeah. like builds up till eventually it forms like another tub. <laughs> <laughs> shower slugs, dude. <laughs> Damn, so you were clogging the drain? Yeah, man. Me too, man. That was my exact move. I, I thought I got away with it until like mm -hmm. recently. I thought I got away with that. <laughs> and my fam my sisters were like, yeah, you know, everyone knew you were jerking off the whole time. I was like, yeah. You got to lean into it, dude. Every yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, but when, yeah. No one did anything about it, so. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Who's the what fucking pussy's going to do about who it? Who won that situation? Yeah. No, Tim I was in there, hour-long showers, same thing. That was the best. Yeah. Was like, what nice kind of porn did your dad have? It was just Playboys. Yeah. It was actually like so fucking lame and old that I was almost like, mm, I got a little bit of internet right now. This yeah. isn't much. This isn't doing it. My dad would come on the pages. Like you couldn't read anything because everything Christ. was just a cotton bun. <laughs> and so like, you end up splitting a torso. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. yeah dad, coming, think, on the, coming on the pages is a sick Your dad movie. would yeah. tribute the fucking. That's crazy. He would pay tribute to <laughs> the Shane, Playboy magazine. Finding their pornos is one thing. Finding their cum is entirely different, dude. Well, with him, what kind it, of loads is he rocking? Just. He wasn't Cement. he wasn't taking in any greens. Like it was just straight <laughs> yellow loads. <laughs> and it was like you could just look at the front and back of the magazines cuz everything like it, it was glued together. And my mom, she had like a, she was it's like she was doomsday prepping with dildos. It was what? just two drawers Whoa, full of just <laughs> So you grew up in a sex toy positive Woo, house. Dog. Man, that's yeah, fucking man. all sick. makes sense. Yeah. Your mom was a dildo hoarder? Dude, she had a drawer full of them? It was Dude, she looked like if there was a fucking NRA for dildos, yeah. she was Wayne LaPierre. <laughs> she had yeah. a stash. Oh man, she was Damn. Wowie. Damn, Damn, I didn't find any kind of, my mom That's just found brutal. my porno and yelled at me, dude. How did you feel when you found the dildos? It changed things. Did it really? Yeah, I You it, stopped it, listening? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, that was another thing. They, they we lived in a fucking very small house. They were the next bedroom over and they would fuck with the bedroom door open. Ooh. Yeah, and they would fucking tear it up too. Of course, what the dude. Fuck, dude. dude. It, the worst was when my mom was trying, or my dad was trying to get my mom to blow him, and, and she she wasn't giving in. You heard? Ah, it. Well, there, it was like a whisper <laughs> argument. Yeah. 
You heard a whisper argument? Dude, you heard your dad give the whisper like argument? It felt like fucking forever, and she just wasn't giving in. About toward the end of it, like I was rooting for her. Like I was glad she wasn't giving in. Oh, oh no. Nice. Yeah, she stood her ground. Yeah, she wasn't sucking that thing. What kind of, what, what was he working with? What kind of logic? He was just, come on in that suck it. He goes, suck it or what? Come on in that suck it. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? I don't know, maybe like 10. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Did you know what a blowjob was before that? Yeah. yeah I guess yeah. so. You're 10. Oh, my God. Damn. Bro, yeah. dude. <laughs> That's some real fucked up shit. This is so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm loving this, dude. My parents are. <laughs> I found like massage oil in my parents' bed, and I was like, "Ooh!" <laughs> I was, ba- I was just like, my mom's giving HJs. I'm like, "That's what's up." Hooking my dad up. But that I explains you too. You're a, you're a sensual man. Exactly, mm-hmm. dude. Wow. She was rubbing him. Your down, parents dude. really do. I've never been you. bothered about the thought of my parents having sex. It never bothered me at all, dude. Then again, I never explains, heard my. This explains everything about your entire life. These first like. Like, yeah, I found Playboys under a workbench in my dad's basement. So yeah. that's obviously, I'm a, I am fucking beat off in a cellar covered in just fucking cobwebs <laughs> and dust. True. That's why I'm like rubbing myself in baby powder. Yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, the oil was dude, Arabian the world's first musk. powder jerk. Dude, it was Arabian musk. Dude, if I man, smell that geez, smell, man. I'll come, dude. It was, I, it was the, as I started wait, to, you obviously. Spell, smell, wait, what? The scent yeah. of this so oil. You can't get an Uber of your parents. <laughs> 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 the scent of this oil It was Arabian Your it mom's was, oil It was Your on the nightstand sex I saw it on the He never smelled it on her Obviously so no I'm like I'm not gonna let my dad Get all the good hand jobs I jerked myself with it You used their lube Yeah dude mm-hmm. Of course I found it It smelled good And I'm like Let's see what this is about Dude it was the silkiest oh, oil Oh no man. Dude you used the same lube As your parents it, For sure Fuck I saw it in there I'm like Cause I used to go in the, I used to go in that room And jerk off all the time When I was supposed to babysit the Arabian Musk was sitting out, and I'd got I'd watch Spice, dude. I was oh it was God. like a don't get me wrong. I dude, think you're there's you, no, were, you didn't commit a crime here. But oh, that's for sure. Like, that just sucks I got for news them. for you, Shane, dude. When you were backing up the shower and that water was touching your family's feet, you cummed on your family's feet. Dude. True. I'm down with that a lot, <laughs> but little cum islands. Yeah, you think, you think that's any that. better or worse than using some using juice? Using the same lube as using your parents? the same dude, juice. This was, yeah, this was I this, do. This was the silkiest. It'd be like if you like melted Vaseline and butter. And jerked off with it. It was the silkiest. Of Dude, blue. you should be the pitch man for this now. Dude, you got to contact them. Tweet at tweet this clip at them. I'm gonna try to find Arabian Musk. Dude, it is the shit. God damn it, shit smelled good. It I turned if, me on. I'll buy it for you. I wonder if that's what those Egyptians like rub on your hands at the at the mall when they sneak <laughs> up on you. Yeah, yeah, you just go and you're like, oh fuck, yeah. some rules. <laughs> oh, my fucking one fingernail smooth as hell. Dude. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, damn, dude. So you heard that you had to. That couldn't be it. There has to be. Uh, yeah, it was a relentless. But <laughs> eventually, you ever like, say something to him. What am I gonna say? Get it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never, I never confronted him about it. Like, sex was just always weird in the house. Like, my dad, he would like. My sister had a boyfriend at work that was gay video, which was like huge porno haven. And well, uh, right on seventy, like the one in West Philly. Okay. By uh, University of Penn's campus. Mm-hmm. And, like, my dad would, like, knock on her door to ask if she had any tapes that he could bring it to work at the firehouse. <laughs> He's a porn hound. Yeah, dude, he was fucking tearing it up. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah. yeah How do you feel about it? Disgusting, man. That's why I'm ordering oh, fucking really? sex torsos, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you seem all right. With no, it? I'm not. Oh, no. really? That fucked you up? No, well, I mean, it was, like, a distorted view of sex, and I, I feel like, you know, I'm pretty relatively normal. You know, headless yeah, fucking well fake ladies. For sure. Aside. <laughs> uh, that's not that bad. Bringing home a torso is okay. What kind of shipping yeah. do you order on it? It's just a basic. It's going to take a while to get here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, but that's part of the uh, part of the appeal. I'm edging to get my sex doll. Dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my dude. God. That male must. Yeah, we know I about that. I saw, yeah. I saw the way Matt shake it. Yes. <laughs> Bro, my flashlight came yeah. in the mail. I, I almost Matt's jumped excitement. out of my seat. Oh, man. I Matt, almost jumped Matt the fuck was, up. It, looking in the refrigerator and the door the doorbell rang and he was like yes it's here <laughs> and it ran across I was on the couch and I was like what's here nothing <laughs> and I was like you know what's here you're excited about it well dude as far as cum related items in the mail the, the, the thing that really fucking did it for me was that in 94 uh, Howard Stern put out a New Year's Rotten Eve tape and like back then shit took like six to eight weeks to come yeah. and we were getting ready to go to uh, Disney World and it came the day before we left for Disney World. And I yeah, got home at like 8 o'clock that night. My mom's, <laughs> my mom's like, something came for you. And I opened it up and it was just like, I got to figure out a way to get the VCR upstairs tonight. And I did. And then like, of course it made like, it sounded like, you know, a bunch of black neighbors. 
<laughs> I'm already Sorry, fired. Right. Okay. I'm already fired, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But edit that out. The VCR was very loud. Oh, man. I don't think you were being funny either. It was like, well, no, he was serious. He was like, it sounds like a bunch of black neighbors. So he goes, oh, but yeah, oh, that sorry. VCR you touched dude, my arm dude, and apologized. Re- rewinding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Using a VCR for scene selection on a porn oh, in a crowded God, yeah, Irish yeah. house, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? How many no. how many beasts did you catch the Howard Stern uh, party video? Dude, dude, that night I got like four, and then like I went back down and hooked it up as though like nothing happened. And then <laughs> oh we were God. away for like a week, and then when I came home, it was fucking on. Oh, dude, you're missing that tape. I would have found a way to get left behind. <laughs> I would have home alone. <laughs> home alone with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tip to that point, my da- my dad, dude, my dad gave me the sex talk on my um, what was I? I think I was twelve on my on the, my twelfth birthday on the way to see Home Alone. And I just remember him like it was just oh, like I was see Home Alone. You guys were chatting, dude. He took me to to the, my favorite diner to get spaghetti and meatballs, and then drove me to the AMC. And as we're going there, he's like, you know, I think you're getting to an age. And then it was just like my stomach just sank because I knew it was coming. Uh, and I don't remember exactly what he said, but I remember he kept making the motion with his hands on the steering wheel of his thumb and his forefinger making a circle. And his index finger going in and out of the circle, <laughs> and it's just like, all right, this is I'm never going to forget this. Hell yeah! <laughs> what was it? What was the talk about? I don't. It was just about. He's like, this is how you fuck pussy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, let's get those meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some meatballs in you. Come on. <laughs> yeah, my mom tried starting the sex talk, and my dad shut it down while my mom was doing it. How like, far did she get? Ma- stop. She was like, "What do you know about uh, you know, your body's going through change?" My dad was like, "Mayor, stop, stop, stop." Yeah. He was like, "Well." Yeah. What has anyone talked about? He's like, Mayor, stop, enough. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this. And then they were like, all right, get out. I don't think I ever got it. And now I'm worried that it might still be in, like, I might have to get it someday from my dad. (laughs) (laughs) It just gets worse as you get older. Dude, you never got vaccinated. (laughs) Yeah, your dad always, like, said, like, 80th birthday. He's going to be like, give her a fucking chicken in the ass. (laughs) It is a lot Let's like go chicken. to Thailand, son. <laughs> it's a lot like chicken pox. Like, your parents will drop you off with the kids that already have it. <laughs> like, let them go hang out with the fucking retarded kids. They'll definitely tell them what fucking is. And we don't have to have the talk. Oh. What was the first uninhibited uh, porn that you had access to? Whether it was VCR-based or Spice Channel-based, Playboy-based? <laughs> VCR base. I mean, I was <laughs> listening to that question. I'm excited to rewind this and listen to that question again. Yeah. <laughs> Rainy, you are out of your fucking mind, bro. Awesome. You I, are nuts. I mean, I obviously had, well, you know, my brothers used to make me guard the windows. So they, all watch, <laughs> they, would, they would watch VH, VHS porn. I had to sit like this by the window away from my parents. Home century, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you were. You hard. shall not pass. <laughs> you ever fall asleep on post? No. no, no, no I was no so way, fucking dude. like, I was so hard. See the program yeah. this dude's running? Yeah. Every, every like 30 minutes, he'd be like, come here. And I get to watch and be like, oh. And I'd run. I was in like second grade. And I'd be like, oh my God. And I'd run back downstairs and be like, I see the headlights and be like, ah, shut it up. Shut it up. Let's go, let's go. Dude, at Matt's funeral, Bugler's going to play Faps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when did you first see porn? Oh, man. Well, I don't know if this is classified as porn, but we had a free uh, preview of the uh, Playboy channel one weekend. And like, Lord? yeah, yeah. Well, but it wasn't. It was like I guess it would be considered X rated. There was no DMP. <laughs> sure, it's not like hogging a VCR in your room. Yeah. All <laughs> well, dude, Friday night would be like our normal like family TV watching night, and my dad was switching channels, and like he got to the free preview of Playboy Channel, and it was just like time to stop. <laughs> oh then eventually, my sister and I were just like, all right, I guess we're going to bed. Now. <laughs> oh just, my god! Yeah. He just left it on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was a. Uh, well, before it was that everyone's Come fingertips, hell. dude. Like before it was that, like the internet and on your phone. Wait, it's like, where were you guys when this happened? In our living room. You were just sitting there watching TV. Well, dude, we would watch. We would, it was like a Friday night thing. We would just watch TV together. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was like fucking TGI, Urkel yeah. and oh, yeah, yeah Urkel, Urkel Family Urkel, Matters. Family yeah, matters. dude, I had a friend's porn. dad do that when we were over one time because they had like the uh, what was it when you had stolen cable black box? Yeah, yeah, black uh, box, yeah. Right? yeah, dude. And he like we'd be there for like wrestling pay per views, and he would go up one pay per view channel and be like softcore, and he'd be like, "Hey, you fucking pussies, ever see this shit?" And we'd be like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> weird <laughs> looking back, back now. Can please oh. go back to SummerSlam. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the first time I ever saw a, a port, it was in a magazine. It was like you know you just find shit in the woods. Sure. And like I found a stack, <laughs> and I ran back home, and I went in my closet with a flashlight. And the first time I ever saw what a pussy looked like up close, it was like. I felt like Nicolas Cage in National Treasure, like 
I knew I shouldn't have this. Like, the only trouble is going to come from me having this document. <laughs> you had the Declaration yeah. of Independence? We didn't live near any woods because we lived in Kensington. And uh, there was this time where we found a bunch of, uh, like, discarded v, uh, VHS cases oh, on these uh, abandoned trolley tracks leading into an abandoned factory oh dude and now it feels like it was gumdrop like it was yeah. like a trail that we were supposed to follow but mostly we just stood there and like no one wanted to touch them because obviously they had come on them dude yeah. Like, yeah but we were all like i i can i can look at i can remember like the three other dudes faces i was with i can see them in my mind like committing it to memory yeah. just like a girl like <laughs> posing with her hand behind her head naked with her pussy out on the go like dude i'm gonna take this home with me in my mind Oh my god! So dude. Wow, I forgot about this. This guy at the end of my block had porn uh, air fresheners in his car, and whenever I would walk to the bus stop as a kid, I would fucking just stare in this guy's car <laughs> every day. He parked out front of his house. He always had. He got different ones. It's did, great. Is it people, like nice smells or like sniz? I couldn't smell in the car. What did, what did you say? Was it like nice smells, like like I lemon scent? Smell. Smelled like pussy. a pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the car. I didn't get into the car, but yeah, yeah it would be nice. Smelled like it a butthole. Like yeah. yeah. The pizza shop on my corner had a Street Fighter Two machine, so we spent every day there. All like every quarter we could come across, we would spend our time in there. And they had these like shitty like Italian mosaics on the walls, just the like they were like inch tile mosaics, awful. And the dude that ran it, his brother was like this fucking pillhead, and he got all fucked up. And paid a dude to make a naked lady mosaic. Oh, and man. it was as, I mean, it looked like a, a pixelated naked lady. It was so bad. The boner Lisa. And I would just be standing <laughs> at the Street Fighter machine looking backwards over my shoulder like, damn, dude, that is, that's a tit. For me. That's technically a tit, dude. <laughs> Fuck, that's dude, so sick. They eventually of, covered it with like a pillowcase. <laughs> nothing was as magical as seeing like tit in a movie when you were a kid. Like I remember like seeing it like Revenge of the Nerds. Remember yeah. where the guy's dressed up as Darth Vader and yeah. they're inside the, uh, the fun house and he gets a chick to take her top off. It was just like, I, I can't believe this is happening right dude, now. Dude, there was tits in a leprechaun, too, wasn't That's there? That's what it got yep. me. Ooh. Leprechaun in space. Yeah, yeah, dude. Leprechaun in space, tits. That's funny that you brought that up because... did that you was ever, one of the first ones for me. When you went to Blockbuster night with your family, did you ever try to steer the decision based on like a movie possibly having tit in it? <laughs> I got the wrong leprechaun movie one time because I was trying to get leprechaun in space. <laughs> and it was with a friend's family. It was a friend's family's Blockbuster night. And I was like, I think the leprechaun movie is pretty cool. I to see that. <laughs> oh, and no one wanted to get it. They all wanted to get like a Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, whatever. <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure this leprechaun movie is pretty good. And I got the wrong one, and there was oh, no tit. And it dude. just sucked. Yeah. <laughs> it just I was just sunk. laying on the floor with my hand, like my chin in my hands, just like, fuck, dude. Do I... Got to the credits. I was like, I, there, is there like an after credits scene? I remember there being tit in this. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, when I was little, I, uh, we had six kids, so we would go food shopping. And like, my mom spent so much money shopping for food that they gave us a free copy of the Titanic on VHS. <laughs> my mom was just like, here, guys, they gave us the fucking uh. Titanic. Obvious there was tits in there, dude. We all got busted watching Rose fucking in the car, <laughs> steaming it up. Was it on the oh, first cassette? It was. It was on. It was a two cassette. Movie. I think it was the first. I think it was on the first cassette, if yeah. I remember correctly. My mom, my mom took it, smashed it, threw it out. I was like, "Fuck!" When your mom was walking in the room, was somebody like Iceberg right ahead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, the most embarrassed I've ever been in front of a girl came. Uh, I took this girl out for a couple dates, and after the one date, she brought me back to her place. And we didn't have sex or anything like that, but um, we were watching Titanic, and uh, she tried out to be an Eagles cheerleader that day. She's like, "You want to see the dance I did?" I was like, "Sure." And like, you know, how, like you see somebody do something and you feel the embarrassment that they should feel. Yeah. Well, I have that association <laughs> with Titanic now. Anytime it comes on, I automatically feel that embarrassment. What she do? and she did the dance? Yeah. Well, she was white, and like these dances were obviously designed for you know Puerto Rican or black girls. Right, and chill, she, chill, what kind of what kind of dance was she doing? It was a lot of uh, the Running Man, and like so the thing who actually you, yeah. <laughs> was doing the no. Running Man. It was the Running Man, and I remember like the head swirl so that your hair flips around, and then like pulling like on an imaginary thing to pull yourself toward it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And she did that for you in front of you. Yeah. She auditioned for the the Eagles though. That's pretty hot. Yeah. Was but it an open tryouts. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, she was at Vince Papali. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you fog then? No, I, I didn't get anything from her. Oh, really? You just yeah. watched her do that dance, and then well, dude, like, how hard did you clap for the audition? I just stood there frozen. It felt like uh, Forrest Gump when he's about to come on Jenny's bedspread, <laughs> where you just sit there with your hands in your lap. <laughs> it's like I don't know what to do. How old were you? Well, dude, I was like, I was nineteen. Like, I'd never had like any interaction with women. Like, I was a real late bloomer, and honestly, like. 
I started to develop strong feelings for her and my feelings were so strong that like I didn't know how to deal with it. So then I joined the Marines like a week later and I ghosted her. <laughs> Damn, she's probably still waiting for you, dude. Uh, well, I saw her one day. I was playing volleyball. She's probably still there doing the fucking like <laughs> running man. <laughs> Wait, were you playing volleyball in the Marines? <laughs> no, dude, I was playing volleyball at uh, on Westchester University's campus and like I saw her on the sidelines and like she's a very sweet person. Like she waved to me so I waved back and that was the end of it. Damn, she wasn't like break dancing on cardboard. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'm still dancing. Did you get all kinds of troop pussy? I did not. No. No. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get any. I did. Did you really? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For a warm week in West Point. Yeah, I got. Damn, so you joined, You just joined the military. You're like, fuck this, dude. Well, also, I thought it'd be funny because uh, my buddy Steve just went, and I thought it'd be funny if we just saw each other in the chow hall because I knew like the platoons would meet up there. And, like, we saw each other, like, a month in at the rifle range. And it was fucking funny. Because <laughs> I didn't tell him I was there. Steve just saw me there at Paris Island. And, like, we laughed and, like, we just got screamed at. And we had to do push-ups and shit. That is pretty sick. But it was pretty fun. Yeah. Was it yeah. worth it? Would you the, say the joke was worth the it? Yes. Yeah. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? To, what was, So, I, I could have sworn there was a story about you going there. It was some chick giving, you like, your send-off to the Marines. Oh, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like. So funny. The party. The party that people, my friends threw for me, like in like three days prior to le- me leaving for Paris Island. Well, let me give a little backstory. God damn it! About two, cool, you. bro. About two weeks before this party, like we had gone to like a rave, and like we got pulled over, and like there were more people in the car than there were seatbelts. So the cops were like, "All right, well, you guys all got to go." And being that these girls are underage, like we got to call their parents. And I was like, "Look, you can take me in, just as long as you know this one's got a seatbelt." Like, there was, you know, no Damn, ulterior motives. Dude. Like, I was just a nice guy. And sure enough, like, uh, at the send-off party, like, that girl, um, she let me chow her box. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> the underage girl you saved from getting, like, a... Well, she was 18. Drink? She wasn't underage. Like, okay, gotcha. But she yeah, was, like, I mean, shouldn't I'm have been drinking. Like that. Yeah, yeah, but... That's what I meant, underage for drinking. But, uh... Legal. Yeah, totally and like, legal. dude, and, like, you know, I hadn't had sex, and, like, I was trying to jam it in. She's like, no, just stop. Just eat the box. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh... I had like a bunch of, I had hickeys like all over my neck. Like it was like ridiculous. So like I was, that was a Saturday. I was supposed to leave on Tuesday and I went in and the recruiter was just like, you can't go. Like I can't send you there like this. It's just like, I look like an idiot. You covered in hickeys. Yeah. You got declined so, from the Marines. <laughs> I got to go like a week later, but like yeah. I had, it was like cool to be able Big to get. Big problem like, in 1994. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool to be able to get like a week break before I actually had to go. Yeah. Cause you got too much pussy to go. Yeah, it was. Like, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was like yeah. actually on my paperwork. It was like a stamp, like too much pussy. <laughs> Damn! So you munched box at a rave? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I had a glow stick in each hand, dude. <laughs> oh, Damn, man. that's awesome. So she, how did that? Was she like, "Hey, thanks. It was a brave thing you did for me." It, it, yeah, in a roundabout way, but then, like, of course, I had to fucking creep it up. I ended up dropping her off at like six in the morning, and then, like, I remember telling me during the night that like she was selling T-shirts as a fundraiser for school, mm. and uh, at seven a.m. It made sense in my mind, like, I got to go back and see if I can if I can fuck this time. So I was pounding on her parents' door at, like, 7 a.m., and her mom answered. I was like, yeah, I'm here to buy one of Stephanie's T-shirts. And she's just like, what? Oh, so she's man. like, all right, I guess. So she led me upstairs to this poor girl's bedroom, and the girl had already fallen asleep. So this poor girl wakes up, and she sees me standing over her bed. <laughs> oh, and I had my money out. I was like, yeah, I just want to buy a T-shirt before I go. What would she say? She's like, ah, okay. So she went into uh, her closet, and she pulled out, like, this tie-dye T-shirt that she was selling for school. Damn, he bought it and yeah, never saw her again. What you do man. with the tea? Be honest. I don't remember. Jerked honestly, off into it. <laughs> I probably did. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> but actually, you know, <laughs> she bless it. She bless her shirt, dude. But dude, I didn't see her again. But then, like, I was feeling nostalgic, like the night before I was supposed to leave. So I went to Spencer's Gifts and I bought her and her friend matching um, uh, glow in the dark curtain beaded curtains. Yeah. And like, I didn't, dude, <laughs> that's what I remember. Yeah. About I, this. I didn't want to present them to them. I wanted it to open it. Like you know how like. Uh, like dead people, they'll like record their voice into a card and then open it in front of the family at their funeral or something, and then you'll hear their voice one last time and get emotional. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't want to be there to give it to her, so I gave it to my boy Brian. It's like, yo, Brian, like when I'm gone, like make sure you give uh, Stephanie and uh, whatever the other girl's name was these beaded curtains. And then like two months into boot camp, I got like this letter saying, "Hey, thanks for the curtains. I uh, hope to see you around." Oh, I was like, boy. all right, yeah, I did it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, That's made it. gotta be the most white trash fucking thing <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you went to Spencer's Gifts and got them beaded yeah. curtains. And they were like, oh. Like, dude, when you were opening like, the envelope, oh, they say like, sweet. <laughs> he gave us these curtains down from they Spencer's. They glow in the dark. 
Yeah, they go in the dark. He Thanks just, for eating my pussy and <laughs> sending me beads. That was pretty nice of you. <laughs> Were you opening the envelope like she's gonna wait for me? We're gonna get engaged. Yeah. Well, dude, I was already already scared the open mail there because like when you get anything that's that seems like it's more than just a letter, mm. the the drill instructor will open it to make sure it's not contraband. And like at that party before I went away, um, my thing was getting naked all the time. And my <laughs> and Fuck. and I had a, a I had I had a friend this this like lanky lanky black dude named Reed and we were we took a bunch of pictures as though like we were making out and butt fucking and shoving vacuum <laughs> <laughs> shoving vacuums up our ass <laughs> shout out Reed yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out Reed we took a bunch of naked ass? pictures yeah, of us fake butt fucking yeah shit and then like um uh so oh, my buddy fuck. Brian who oh. I who I entrusted to deliver the curtains like he took the pictures <laughs> and. After I had gotten the letter from the girl saying thanks for the beaded curtains, like Brian sent me this stack of pictures to fucking boot camp. Oh. And by, <laughs> dude, by the grace of God, the fucking drill instructors didn't open it. But like oh. as I'm opening it, I'm looking at all these pictures of me like pretend getting butt fucked by my black friend Reed. <laughs> And I just like th- crumpled them up, ripped them oh up, threw them in the trash, and like thank God that was the end of it because like I probably would have got court martial. He said, th- "Yeah, dude. Yeah, you guys said, don't ask, dude. Yeah. Don't tell." Well, this was before that. this was ninety nine, <laughs> dude. No, Imagine it was, being it was the like, Wild West, man. That no, no, night would have just been no, socks. It was full a of joke. Soap. Oh. It was a joke. It was, a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was, a joke. We was pretend. We were pretend having gay sex. <laughs> God, that's just so like funny. I showed up here to be with my friend Steve. That's a bit yeah. too. Steve, tell him, <laughs> tell him that I came here to be with you. It's all a joke. Damn, where's this dude at now? Uh, I don't know. The last I saw him, he came over to my house the night the Phillies won the World Series, and like I heard like a you ruckus. Kiss? No, actually, I did tuck his dick back into his pants though, because like I heard a ruckus in my kitchen, and I just went to bed. I was like, "What the fuck is he doing out there?" And he thought the bathroom or the kitchen was the bathroom, so he was peeing all over my kitchen he was set. Drunk. Yeah, and okay. so like I was like, "Reed, you're in the kitchen. You're in the kitchen," and he was mumbling. So like I just tried like t- tucking his dick into his pants. And then I just picked him up and put him outside of the apartment. And Reed that was his dick. Where you're like, this is a bit, this is a bit, this is a bit. <laughs> Damn, Damn wait, yeah. why'd you tuck his dick in? Because he's pissing all over my kitchen set. What did you want me to do? Let him finish? You got it while pissing. You tucked, yeah, dude, you tucked he was still going at it. This was not. Tied it off first. Yeah, this was not a Tennis either. Like, this was. Yeah. Did you pinch it like a hose? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had to. You would have got pissed. Yeah. I, I yeah. was like, it was like a like a sidearm you shove. You grabbed the shaft? Damn, it's like. Maybe, gra- yeah. It's, so it's like grabbing a live snake if you pinch every youth or you're <laughs> you're like, the youth. It was a lot of dick. It was like it was like you know when you're a kid and your parents tell you to clean up the room how you're just shoving shit into the closet and like you back up against the door to shut the door. It felt like that because it just went on forever. Wow, damn, dude. Ray train coming in. Coming in, swing. Let's slide in the page. We're at an hour sixteen. Uh, What'd you yeah, think? yeah. The rest of this we'll just put on the, yeah, uh, put on the page. motherfucking Patreon. Come to uh, well, whatever. No, it's not gonna Helium, the 24th, 25th, 26th in Philly. You guys want to say anything before we go on the page? Yeah, we're going to go to the Patreon. Do you guys want to plug anything? Mm. Absolutely not. No. Other than Reed's butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just want, I just want to thank the troops. <laughs> I support them, bro. 